Children of the Corn, The Gathering, in 1996. All the kids in town overnight become feverish and have convulsions. The next day, they start to become evil. Directed by Greg Spence. Original short story by Stephen King and written by Stephen Berger. Released October 8, 1996. In a sleepy Midwestern town, a horrifying evil is about to rise again. Here's the cast. Naomi Watts as Grace Rhodes. Jamie Renee Smith as Margaret Rhodes. Karen Black as June Rhodes. Mark Sailing as James Rhodes. Brent Jennings as Donald Atkins. Tony Marsh as Sandra Atkins. Louis Flanagan III as Marcus Atkins. Brandon Clela as Josiah. And William Wyndham as Doc Larson. And the cast goes on. Do you know what amazes me about, about Children of the Corn, The Gathering especially? It seems like every time a film that has big names in it, the story seems to be a little shallow. And what I mean is, I love the first one. Part two was all right. Part three was better than part two. Now, this is part four. Love Karen Black. Rest in peace. Naomi Watts. And the uh, talented William Wyndham. Rest in peace. But what I find amazing about this film is, I don't exactly know why they're making so many Children of the Corns over the years. Anyways, this one's about a kid named Josiah. He was supposed to be abandoned by his mother. Some priest took him in, and all of a sudden he, like, is born to preach. But Josiah never grew up. And then what happens is he gets abandoned by the priests. He gets burnt to death in the cornfield. Now the spirit of the man behind the rose is here. Now, we've heard this time and time again for all the Children of the Corns. I mean, they are creepy to a point when it comes with kids. And this movie here is all the kids get fevers, the fever goes away, and they wake up evil. Now, again, if you are a Children of the Corn fan, you would probably like this concept. It's pretty cool, but, you know, again, what's weird about this film is there's so much talent in this film that it needed it in order for the film to even survive, if that makes any sense. I'm not bashing on this film. I'm at the point now where I just want to get these Children of Corn movies done. You know, I've had them forever, the whole series. I just think that it's really starting to lose the whole start of this whole franchise. Because now it's getting to be, they're trying to figure out different ways to bring back the man behind the rows, the cornfields... This is 1996. Again, this is part four. Anxious to see what the newer ones are. I mean, even the ones even more after this, if they're worthwhile watching. But hey, this is not... It's, it's, it's all right. Again, like I mentioned, it has a nice cast, but it seems like if it wouldn't be for the cast... I know I'm rambling on, but it is what it is. Chosen the Corn, the Gathering is... Josiah gets all these kids to turn evil on their parents... And there's a final showdown towards the end of the movie. Same old, same old. So there you go. Chosen the Corn, The Gathering, 1996. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 4.5 out of 10. It's below average. Again, it's just the way it is. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.